Hello, endless tubers, and welcome back to La Milana. Remember last episode when I said I was taking a break for the session? I lied. Um, <laughs> I did a little bit of exploring, and I think I found uh, somewhere to go, and I'm pretty excited to get there, actually. So, uh, actually, it's been a little bit. Uh, yeah, the arrow up. We never figured out how to go there before. But now we can. I promise you that. So yeah, I just uh, I spent a bit of time off camera just exploring around, reading a few tablets. I actually found this fairly quickly, so probably don't have any useful information from the tablets. But there we go. I believe that will be one of the philosopher uh, pathways that's opened up. And look at this treasures. So um, we got squishers, which is extra fun, uh, and we're in. One of the arms of the mother that I don't think we got to. Well, we definitely have not been in here before. Also, see, this is why I was so excited. You see, I did sort of run in here just quickly and do this. And I didn't even open the treasure chest yet. But I already know I'm excited for today's episode. Because I've now completed learning. <laughs> so this was a good place to go. I'm glad I, uh, I found this spot. Anyway, the message is... Look to the weapon in thy hand. The key to the awakening lies within. Um, the key to awakening lies within weapon. I have a key sword. Maybe related? Possibly? I don't know what I'm awakening. The key sword does something. Anyway, we're going to get up there. We're probably going to get squished. But we're going to try to... Oh, I got stuck in the wall there. No big deal. Yeah, it's fairly likely we'll be squished here. Can I jump? Maybe up on top? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure I can do this now without getting squished. Let's go. I wonder if I needed to hit both at the same time. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's a nice patient game and it will not kill me for this. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Smash my face in the ground. Oh, seriously? I got another seal? This is the best room ever! We got a fourth seal, which opens up a lot of good stuff. I think. I don't know. There could be another fifth seal, but I'm... Interestingly enough, that's a one, a two... Is that a three? Uh... Well, that's definitely a two. This is probably a three, although it looks a little weird. And that is a four, for sure. So, seal. One, two, three, four. Yay! Look at me. Sort of figuring stuff out. Anyway, we want to go to the Shrine of the Mother for real now. And I know for sure there's, like, I'm pretty sure there's two death seals. Also, I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've tried the uh, key, key blade on him. I think I tried all my weapons on that dude. Just seeing as the... Uh, Oh, those, I can kill those guys before they can hit me now. Oh, I love this whip. I'm so glad I, I looked up how to get this. <laughs> ah, kill everything. Good. I You know, it's been a long, long time since I've actually upgraded my weapons. Yep, that one's flashing. And even furthermore, the uh, we got a new passageway thanks to the... Um, I, I believe those are specifically the, uh, the Philosopher passageways. Well, let's go see what's over here. This is... Have I not been on this room before already? Apparently I have not. Who is it that reads this? Is it my son? Okay. I, I can only hope so. I've come this far, but the four philosophers did not choose me. I wasn't up to the task. I could not awaken mother. I'm too old. Whoever is reading this, I pass the torch to you. The hidden treasure, the origin of life itself, lies here. Oh yeah, and remember to turn the power off. And now it's off. Well, I don't know if that really accomplishes anything, but I assume that explains why our dad hasn't killed the mother yet. Although why he's hanging out in this ruins, I don't understand. Because we've seen him a couple times. And he seems to be doing okay. But, uh, hmm, I guess he, the Philosopher's, well, <laughs> I made it with 
without getting hit! This is the best day ever! And it's more life! Oh, this is going great, guys! This is so good! Now, seeing as I can... You know, there's a switch down there that I've still never figured out how to get. I've tried off-camera a couple times. I've tried falling into the spikes and walking to the left. I've tried hitting stuff. I don't know what you have to do to get there. But anyway, I guess the story is we know... We know why our dad, uh... Hasn't been around. <laughs> the Philosopher's Island. Now, is there any other seals? That was two. I'm pretty sure there's another one somewhere. Where? Where have I seen another seal that I couldn't do? Was it in the Endless Corridor? Or maybe... Dimensional Corridor? No. Gate of Illusion, maybe? Maybe that was the only two that I knew about. There could be more. I'm trying to think of... Every time I look at one of these, I'm trying to remember if there's any seals there. That I couldn't trigger. Mm. Nothing, nothing jumping at me. Of course, the main thing is, even more important than the seals, I got the sacred orb and I got a note from my dad. That's nice. The thing is, though, that we can read. And probably what I really should be doing now is essentially because I know there's a lot of secret... Well, there's a lot of secrets. Um, I should probably go through the entire game, every room, and reread all the tablets. Now that I can read the, the translated ones, the untranslatable ones, this is where the mother lays to rest. Literally. You're in her already. Um, <laughs> interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, now that I can read all the, the garble gar garbly gook, um, I'm sure to find some more, hopefully, solutions. So, you know, right off the bat, I still haven't gone through and learned what all my combos do. I'm just going to go to the, the reader. That's important. I don't know what bounce does. Miracle and you know, I thought move did something. Guild makes a chime if you find I'll leave that on for now. Whatever. I like the I like the, the ones that tell you what they do the most. They give you some sort of hint. So, um do I wanna show all of this on camera? Yes. If you don't want to watch me do some backtracking, skip ahead a video or two. I'm going to be going through all these I'm gonna go systematically through the entire game finding new tablets and old tablets. And if it's something interesting, I'm going to write it down. And if it's something that I think I've already solved, I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, that's the spring in the sky. Can I read that tablet from this side? Yes, I just have to go around. Sure, that works. Oh, no, I can't. It's, uh, right, you can get up there. It's kind of like a one-way path. I remember sort of that. I thought you got me that time, didn't you? That was good. So we're not immune to, to rats yet. Dirty rats. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of tablets that were translated, and I could not give you... Like, I do not remember where they are. Um, which rooms are, are which for, for the, uh, the other tablets. Okay, that's nothing too special. I think if we go up here, this will take me to that other one. Or uh, actually, I have to go around. That was like my first sacred orb right there, wasn't it? Can't actually jump up that way. That's fine. Doing all of this with the uh, the items we've got now is so much easier. Onks, blah blah blah. Yeah, we did that. We know all about onks. A lot of the uh, the messages early on are um, are no big deal. Fear not the water, blah blah blah, cross the sacred lake. Mm, I assume we did something with that already. Probably the lake on the surface, maybe? I'll just teleport back over here so we can Yeah, I just want to have a quick read at all the tablets. If, if it's something that I've already figured out, we'll just skip it. If it's a new one that 
we have to translate, I'm going to be very excited. So a quick look over here. And now it's also possible, I haven't really been paying attention, but it's possible the... I guess I should actually read that. Chiyu... Kaiyu maybe? Um... Sacrificial Abyss. Have I done this? It's probably in the Gate of Illusion, the multi-armed monster with all the weapons. And then there's that long pit we had to work our way down to. I think that was the Sacrificial Abyss. Maybe that gives us a hint of how to kill him? I had a really hard time with that mini-boss. Um, I think this is just a... I mean, it's not a tablet, but it's a guy to talk to and I should have a quick chat with him. Just to see if this was anything important that I might need for later. Yeah, basically the same as the tablet, eight spirits, blah blah blah. You guys know the drill by now. Maybe this was the sacrificial pit, I don't know. Okay, that was the smack the mouth, make the platform raise and lower puzzle. We've done that. It may be that these early tablets are basically pointless. Yep, that's fine. That was like really, really, really early puzzles from the first few episodes. The guild runs a hidden shop. Hidden shops, I don't know what that's talking about specifically. Giants, yeah, giants were down from here. This was the hidden shop, I guess. Probably, yeah, shuriken should only cost 10. Actually, I am really low on weights. So there we go. Thanks, buddy. So I think this was, well, there's a couple more runes in this, rooms in this area we'll have a quick look at, but I think we're basically done. Can't actually get up from this side, sadly. Oops. Jump fail. Fall fail. Well, it's no big deal. Exploring is fun. It's the name of the game. If you guys don't like this, well... I don't know why you're watching. <laughs> Honestly. Isn't that all about Lama Lana? Just wandering around randomly trying to figure stuff out. One more tablet and then we're done, I think. Actually, I did miss one room. Remember the room right before the boss room? It's possible there's something there. Watchtower above the Temple of the Sun. <laughs> newly constructed wall. Huh. In a newly constructed wall too, the key has been hidden. Have we solved that? I would hope so. I'm not going to write it down because it's... I'm gonna try to remember it though, just in case. And there was a tablet here, ha! And it is the translating kind of thing. Our first translating one. Or maybe not. Maybe something that I read before and then forgot about. Alright, I, I probably already read that. He then died or something. Okay, one zone done as far as I'm concerned. Let's go to the next one. Well, they have giants, sure. It may be, you know, I, I am starting to expect that the. You know what, let's let's actually do, instead of, why can I not, uh, oh, that's why I had, right, sorry, software, that's why I had Mirai equipped, it's because you need it to go to the backwards ones, which is very useful, well, we probably need that, we don't use that very often, there we go, that was the use, that was like the most useful of all the software combos, if, or not combos, just software. Anyway, we'll start in the backward ones, because I wouldn't be surprised, yeah, if maybe all of the strange translated ones are here. Eleven children guard Tiamat's room. There, the Holy Grail is rendered powerless. Well, surprise! I already know all that. Sheesh. How is that supposed to help? <laughs> Puzzles that you don't actually, you can't actually read till way after you, you, you know them? I mean, I don't know, how early could we have gotten... How early could we have actually gotten the ability to do this? Um, you need to be able to, to unlock the Philosophers to get... So you need the Ocarina or else you couldn't get your translation software finished. 
Um, another weapon fairy boo. A key fairy would have been really nice. I guess I should read that tablet down there. But yeah, you, you would have had to get the ocarina, which means uh, you need the mother statue. So you have to get at least to the chamber of birth, I guess. Yeah, the fairies unlock it. So there's got to be a, a key fairy in here. There's got to be. There's got to be. So I guess as early as you got to the chamber of birth, if you really knew what you were doing, maybe you could have got your software translated. So you could have done that before you went to the dimensional corridor, I guess. Unlock the key to the corridor that runs... And yeah, that's the... Uh, it, we've, we've done that. I'm sure we've done that. Oh, okay, there is... I actually think we have to go down here to read that tablet. Assumedly, that's a new tablet. A great treasure lies within this land. A device that creates life. Oh, good! Remember when I found the Cog of Life? Uh, good. So if those are all I'm going to learn from my translate software thing, I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit more interesting... Uh, interesting uh, notes. Yeah, the wise man fool stuff. I assume I've solved most of those puzzles by now. I hope. Uh, we'll have a quick look to the right here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, be little. Gotta get the small statue and then show it to the giant. That's fine. I assume this was the sacrificial pit. And then they try to kill you. We got... What did we get from that? We got some item. I can't even really remember. And that just takes us back here. Where else can we go in the Gate of Illusion quickly? There's a couple rooms up top. The rooms with the, uh, the three tablets that told us about the puzzle. We can go have a quick look over there. There might have been a couple tablets in there. Yeah, the three tablet puzzle. Oh yeah, there's a the one in the top right. Either I've somehow not read it, or uh, it's in it's gobbledygook. <laughs> so what do we get? Wisdom is buried within the wall. Hold high the emblem of proof before the palace guarded by Hell's gatekeeper. Glowing letters will shine through the darkness. The wisdom is, in fact, the virtual wise man, the keeper of the mantra. I'm going to record it. I don't understand, but I think this is stuff we haven't done yet. Hell's Gatekeeper. Didn't we have something about that already? Gatekeepers of Hell. See, there we go. Hell's Gatekeepers. Oxhead Horseface. So we find them, wherever they are, that'll get us to the last pyramid with Nua. And before the palace, there'll be glowing letters shine through the darkness. Doesn't really help me a lot, but it might mean something once I see it. I'm trying, I'm trying to be proactive today. That's completely useless. Okay, the only other place we haven't been is the roundabout section, the uh you call it. The place we very first got into it from the Temple of, uh, well, the Eden part, basically. This part. Paradise of the Eternally Lost. Yeah, used to be Eden. I think we've solved all the stuff here. I think. Most of these tablets just talk about getting through this puzzle, as far as I remember. I don't think we're going to find anything new here, actually. Pretty unlikely. I don't mind having a quick look, but I don't think anything is going to be... Now, one thing I forgot about. Where does that... I don't even remember where that connection takes us. That's a, a two, number two backwards. So, Graveyard of Giants, I guess? I think that's a two. Could be wrong. Definitely the Graveyard of Giants. Okay, so that's the one that takes us here. Well, you know what? I think I was basically done searching in um, in that place anyway. So let's have a look. I think I did basically everything in the Gate of Illusion. 
Tojin emits countless beams of light. Those without a white shimmer will not survive. Um, okay, I, have we met Tojin yet? I don't think I need to record this one. Tojin. Tojin. Do we have anything white and shimmery? Oof, I have no idea. We've got almost everything. I thought we had almost everything. I don't know. I like being able to kill those guys relatively quickly. I also don't come back here very often. Oh look, that's one of the Eden puzzles. Remember I talked about this? The hands of the four. Yeah, I should have recorded that <laughs> when I first saw it. Let's go down here, just see if there's anything to, to check. We're gonna waste a couple weights, but I don't care. We got we've been doing pretty good for money lately. See, man and woman. Man, seed of life is born. Yep. See, they, they, they've they given us hints about that maternity doll for a long time. I think I did a pretty good job solving that puzzle, honestly. Yeah, money can't buy the real thing. That was the don't bother buying a fake silver shield puzzle. It wasn't really a big puzzle. The guy that was selling the fake silver shield sounded pretty sketchy. Also, I'm pretty happy to have 320 life now. Did I mention that? It looks like there must be one more orb left. Life orb left. I can't imagine there being two left. That seems very unlikely. Alright, let's uh, go down. Didn't quite mean to fall, but that's fine. The key to eternity rests within... Demon with a weapon brings forth the illusion, a demon that endlessly consumes life. I think that would have been a puzzle to help us help us get the key of eternity. I can't even remember where we got it anymore. That was probably the demon Anubis, well, the, the god Anubis of death, that consumes your life. That must have been where... Was that what we got to the key? That was the Book of the Dead and all that stuff. That gave us the Spirit Staff. No, that wasn't quite right. Okay, there's nothing over this way. Okay, this is where we first got into the area. Oh, here you go! This is one of the way, the, one of the puzzles. Red Ruby means passion. This was for the uh, scale puzzle. Ruby means passion. Blue Sapphire is affection. So you need to remember. Passion and affection. Red, is, red equals passion. Blue equals affection. Remember, there were seven different colors, plus Lameza. That was pretty bad. Stupid wizards. I hate the ice wizards. The ice wizards have always been a pain. Uh, there's this... There's a tablet there. My eyes are not hollowed up holes. Okay, I think... Did we solve that? Was it this guy? I, I don't remember if we've ever solved this specifically. I thought... What am I doing? Leave it on the whip. Sure it is. Doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know. Did I ever... Does this thing just keep respawning? Or have I just never done this and survived? I thought this was always just a trap. So I never, I never went back to it. It's always a trap. Alright, read this quick. Mu is the nameless one, the one who rises into the sky. Doesn't really help me much. Mu. Hmm. Okay. That doesn't seem useful in this. I'm only, I mean, I've only got 20 tech spots, so I can't just write down every single tablet. It has to be something that I haven't done yet and at least sounds. Like it has a chance of being useful to know to later. <laughs> has to be at least somewhat. Now I can probably clear out a couple of my messages too, so I'll have a little bit more space if I fill up what I've got. Are thou the chosen one or not? I guess I am, and my poor old dad was not. The way it sounds like. Okay, so that will cover this area. I think I'll stick with the backspace ones for now. The Gate of Guidance didn't have anything remotely useful, so we'll stick with these guys, these guys for now. 
Temple of Moon. Now, now, I actually have already done this one, but I did it off camera for rechecking. Now, I haven't done it since I got the scanner, but I know I've read all the tablets recently. That's how I found the, um, well, the Ocarina, really. I think... Oh, there is one thing also, I remember. This is one thing that kind of bugged me, and I should show it off now. Where are those spikes? I figured that out, too. It's, it's really nothing important. Remember those spikes there that have been kind of bothering me? You can do something with them. Maybe this is what tells you how to do it. Oh no! So... You would have to... See, this is the point. At the time when I went to do the scale puzzle, it was impossible. You have to get the Ocarina first, translate your... Finish learning your translation, and then come here. This is where, see, I betcha. I know I read about the joyful, sincere stuff before somewhere. Just like the one that talked about the blue sapphire and the red. So we know the sapphire was whatever and the ruby was whatever. That's two of those numbers. If I had seen this screen, I would have probably written it down or recorded it. And then when I found the scales, I might have had a chance. So anyway, they give you seven emotions and a number, and every heart has a weight. I think that relates to Lamaze's weight, which is now 61 as we learned. And then you can take all those numbers and balance them. There you go. So yeah, okay. You know, if I had done things in a different order, maybe I would have understood the scale puzzle a little bit better. That's actually good to know. Uh, I still don't feel too bad about cheating, um, because I would have had to ignore that room without even trying it until today when I found it, and then I could have maybe figured it out now. Anyway, what I want is, I should be able to do this now. Sure, Kings. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Nope, not quite. Uh, as far as I understand, you just have to throw shurikens into the spikes. It's really nothing important, and it's <laughs> it's not going to be worth the time this is going to take to do. But I, I did look up how to do this finally, because the spikes were bugging me one day, and I remember reading the answer, and I was like, oh, that's completely wasting my time. I don't know how many things I've looked up on the guide yet in total. Not too many. Um, and I don't think I've ever looked up something without trying it on my own first. There, wow, there we go. Didn't even have to grapple the wall. That opened it up. You just have to throw shurikens into it. So, you need double jump in shurikens, basically. And assumingly it will still be open when we go back. And all we're going to get probably is some coins. So, we're going to do a bunch of all these round trips and it's really not going to accomplish anything. Yeah. A little teeny bit of money. In fact, for the number of weights I've had to use, unless it gives me like probably 40 or 50 bucks, it's not going to be worth it. I guess you technically need the grapple claw to, to get over there. Or I actually, well the ladder maybe, I don't know. Well, that looks like it gave me probably more money than I spent on weights, so that's nice. Anyway, let's finish looking for um, shiny red uh, tablets. That one's nothing. I remember reading that one. Like I said, I did go through this area looking for hints within the last little while. It wasn't very long ago, so... I'm just looking for new stuff. Have I gone right yet? Probably no tablets over here. And I don't think there was any red tablets inside the pyramid. The upside down pyramid. So we are going to zip through this area slightly quicker. There was one... Oops, I did not mean to fall down. Sorry. Well, let's check down here while we're down here. I don't think there was. I suppose maybe we'll get a key fairy and then I'll go back to the Gate of Illusion. But Nope, that's the old healing fairy, which is always nice, but no big deal. Anyway, we'll, um, remember that one secret room with the bombs I used to blow up? I got, I think, some software out of it. Uh, that was untranslated. Doo doo doo, we'll just head back up here quick. Doesn't take too long these days. And then after the Temple of Moonlight, I think we'll go... Where to next? I don't know. Ah, yeah, that red one was 
untranslated. And I assume maybe this gives you a hint for this puzzle. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> the Guardian protects something else. There will be a wedge there. Eight wedges will give form to the soul. Okay, I expect that is in relation to getting to the mother. The, the philosophers basically already told this, though. Driving the wedges, killing the eight guardians, the wedges are in the shrine of the mother, and then we'll get to fight her soul. That's pretty much what I expect. Okay, that's done. The tower, my favorite place. Shouldn't take too long to zip through this. I haven't double read all these yet. I've been meaning to, I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't recently checked up on all the tablets around here. No tablets. I think we'll be able to get through all these areas within a couple episodes. Um, I'll probably end this episode once we're done this area, and then next episode I'll try to finish the rest off. Ah, da 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 da, I can't fulfill her wish, no big deal. I think I actually did read these recently. It seems very familiar to me. But yeah, I, I don't know, I, hopefully you guys don't mind. If you, if you do mind, assumedly you're not watching this episode anymore, so I shouldn't worry. After thine ascension, yeah, 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 left and right, those were two, there was a secret room to the left, one had a shield, one had a sword, that was the shrine tablet, or the scale tablet puzzle, basically, it was tablet, yeah, mystery tablet here. Okay, Rusali plays pranks, Yaxi seduces men, and Deki dances seductively. I betcha those are the three in the Tower of Ruin. There's three rooms. One has a seductress for sure, dances seductively. Rusali's probably the spirits that just fly around. And then Yaxi, there was another one that didn't look terribly seductive, but maybe she was too. Two are bad, one is good, I guess. And I just need those uh, mantras, I think they were called, or something. Which we could get now! Oh, I haven't even thought of that till now. Now that we've got our language translated. Well, we will do that before long, I promise. <laughs> yeah, that just clicked. I can go back to uh, the... Uh, what's it called? Oh, that's totally what we should be doing. Instead of all this backtrack. I mean, the backtracking's important. I want to read these tablets that... Uh, newly translated tablets. But yeah, we can go back to the Dimensional Corridor, and I think we'll be able to start doing that stuff now. Yeah, that's no big deal. There's only a couple more rooms here. We'll wrap the episode up shortly, and next episode, maybe... You know what? Maybe instead, I'll start with... with the new stuff. Challenge the Chamber of Birth. Clutch the Golden Key. I definitely want to get that figured out place where we were born. I don't know where that is exactly. Maybe one of the uh, background gods from the... Um... Well, I actually can't get around. We have to go the long way. One of the background gods from uh, the, ch the Chamber of Birth may have talked about where we were born. I was trying to figure that out before, because it seemed to have something to do with the clay, the giant clay statue, but I still haven't figured that part out. That's one of the reasons I've been running around looking for random tablets, is I'm pretty sure there's been a couple that mention the, the Tree of Life or something, and I just can't remember where they were. So I'm kind of looking for them right now. That's kind of the idea. Hunk of Flying Iron will move when you have the Golden Key. Okay, flying, flying things require the Golden Key. So it sounds like the Golden Key does a couple things. Definitely Chamber of Birth, Chamber of Extinction stuff. Yeah, those are the invisible... They basically look like kangaroo monsters to me. I did... Did I ever get to that room? I don't know if I've ever made it to that little doorway there. Possibly, but... Oh, come on. I could've used that check. Yeah, that was the hint for how to get the water up here, which was... That was quite the puzzle, to get the water all the way to this this level. That was certainly a large puzzle. Mega Tama Jewel. Okay, Enchanted Mantra. So there's... I don't have it yet. I'll record that. It's 
stuff that I don't have yet. When I want to learn the Enchanted Mantra, I need to remember the Mega Tamager. Mm, yeah... Fly with the Golden Wings. I mean, the only thing I've got that resembles flying at all is the plane model. It is a gold airplane, technically. But it's not a key. I can't use it. It's not a usable item. Alright. So I'm going to wrap this episode up. Sorry for not progressing a ton. I just wanted to do some scanning for today. Next episode, I will actually start with uh, checking out those mantra things in um, Dimensional Corridor. And then I'll probably spend the second half of next episode reading some more random tablets. We've done a few areas. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and have a great day.